Being as a parent, you must know what they are doing. Sometimes I don't tell them when me and my friends go like drinking or clubbing. So I make sure to hide it from them. But what will happen if say the guy has a bad intention, put something inside the drink, what will happen to you? Would you know? And then later they will start, you know, uh, taking yeah. nude photos yeah. and all that. And then there will be, you know, what happened? Young child having sex and all that. So end up sekali, few months later, you got pregnant. How? Who's going to answer for that? And because of this, suicide will come in and all sorts of things will come in. Correct? Parents worrying about their children is nothing new. And whose parents have not spied on them at some stage of their lives as they grow up, make friends or get married? But faced with a whole new online world fraught with unknown dangers, it is expected that modern parenting takes on a whole new dimension when it comes to snooping on kids. You know when I'm using Facebook then they will be like stalking me from behind, they'll be like, oh what are you doing, you know, like, yeah it's quite irritating. I think they might just be a bit overprotective. Huh? Uh, I understand why they do it, because Facebook is quite dangerous but still it's an invasion of privacy. Is being as a parent, you must know what they are doing. Not just giving away, okay, whatever you you want to go overnight, you want to go what? You have seen so many uh, cases of uh, through Facebook, they know each other, then they're friends, then they got into trouble. Boys and girls. Well, the girls must be more conscious. The young ones, uh, when they start already, they will start doing even, the, even worse things. Because they feel that they are beauty, you know. They try to expose themselves. So it's good to peep on them if, for instance, you're, you cannot control your children. I mean, no doubt they don't like, but then I must make sure that they understand why I do this. If they want to check on their child, right, they should ask them first. If not, it will be like intruding on their privacy and then they won't feel very good about it. Now these kids, they, they are very sensitive to this issue. You check on them, they say that they don't understand. We don't understand them, you know, but we don't check on them and then they go astray and then we have problems. It's not that I have something to hide, it's just that I want my social life to be away from them, yeah, just in case. So you'll be okay if your parents were to stalk you on Facebook? If they are like on my family list, they are notified when I post something. If I ask someone, they will like, uh, wait, why do you add this person? Blah, blah, blah. If there is, uh, that's too much, I think. They see the photos, but the photos are quite innocuous, like they're safe to be seen by my parents. It depends on how old the kid is as well. I guess if they're of like maybe 50 and over, maybe you shouldn't do it because it's already their private life. If they need to check on my Facebook, then they should ask me. Not just snooping around, then you I will feel very uncomfortable. You know like certain uh, random requests and you know certain convos with my friends and strangers. Yeah, so there's are certain things that I hide but I don't really like how to say it's not very serious lah. Uh, chat messages with my friends. She won't understand the thing we are talking about. According to a recent study conducted as stated in the Daily Mail Online, parents find it essential to monitor their kids on the internet. 60% of parents admit to checking their children's Facebook messages, emails and texts, and many believe that despite the invasion of privacy, snooping is essential to keep tabs on their children. All the more so if their online habits include posting inappropriate photos, cyberbullying, or chatting with strangers. It's better to just talk to your child, I think. Yeah, if you find something that's like very worrying on your Facebook, you probably should just approach them like face to face.